respectfully. It's okay, it's okay this week. We are in Share or after a hiatus. We're in Shobavim, our boys say. So we're, we're learning about the Yisod. So whatever we're learning now is Hashem's wake up call to us. And we all need a wake up call, our boys say, because Tikhun Habrit, you should know one thing. The Gemara brings stories upon stories of Tzadikim, Amoraim, and Tanaim that were Mitmodidim, that had to deal with this. Taiva until the end of their life. Not everybody is Moshe Rabbeinu. Some Tzadikim have to deal with this at the end of their life. The Kumar says, Rav Kahana, one of the greatest Amoraim, he had to jump off a, a three-story building. He was supposed to die. Eliyahu, Hashem had to send Eliyahu and Avi and say, to that extent. Not everybody, Rabbi Akiva, was climbing up a tree like a young man. Rabbi Meir Balanes was uh, swimming Okay, there were some tzaddikim that were able to overcome, that's true. Rabbi Chia Bar Ashe. I said you guys a story last week, didn't he? The Machshava? The Rabbi Tzadok went inside the oven when the Matronita wanted to make him do the Avera. He was willing to eat non-kosher food. He said, whoever eats this falls in this. And then she made him the, cooked him the PIG. And then he was gonna go into the oven, so what are you doing? He's like, uh, whoever eats this and does this goes into this, so I might as well go right now. She's like, oh, it's that, it's that serious for you guys? Okay, I'll leave you alone. And she left him alone. So we see there were big tzaddikim that dealt with this. So it's, the Ari Kadosh says that some nishamot that is just their tikkun to deal with this all the time. Some no, some could overcome it. Or they just get away from it. But uh, it's, 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 you, sh you should never feel bad because if Rabbi Tzadok and Rav Kahana had to jump off a building and stuff like that, that means there were Tanaim and Amoraim that still had this Yisahara. So I'm sad. We do Shobavim, you know, we do, we do Taniyot, we do Kretsch Malamita, we do our best. This is the time we're talking about where it's, where in the times of the king where the even go even dressed modestly, clothes. Do you know how women used to dress in ancient Rome? Oh, ancient Rome. I'm talking about... I'm talking about ancient Rome, Habibi. I don't think they were painted. They created the tallest, you know, probably. The Gemara says they built, I'm not gonna say the word, the P word, the P homes. They built roads just to make those kind of houses. I'm kidding. I'm not saying today's any different, I'm just saying that. They had their ta'avo, don't worry about There's it. There's nothing new under the sun. What? No, the only thing that's different today, well, I'll give the generation, is this. This is the... Yeah. The Yichud issue. Okay, but well, anyways, we're learning Shari or Arabi say. Let's, let's give ourselves 10 minutes to go into the words of Yosef Chikatilia. And Bishkut, his Torah, where he's going to give us a lot of protection. And, you know, when your Yisod is clean, everything comes easy. Yosef wa shalita la'ar tu ha mashbir la pa'a ma'aretz. I said to you guys last a uh, couple of weeks ago. Any place you see in the Torah, the word Brit. It either it's either talking about the Brit Halashon. That means there is a Brit in your Lashon. There is a Brit in your Basar. It's the Mila. Or there is the Priya. So all three are called a Brit. And after... I'm telling you, you have to watch yourself. It's crazy. It's my match. The show of him is a thing. Don't be one of those who is metame the Brit Kodesh. We've been learning about the Yesod for weeks. He still didn't say this kind of Lashon. Now it is kind of Lashon. All the parashiyots in the Torah talk about these promiscuous sins. It's t it, you make a pagam shalom in these two spheres, which is Kelchai, the Yisod, and Amonai, which is the Malchut. The Ktsat Mehem, Bishte Sfirot had Vekot Mehem, and sometimes it also connects to Netzach and Hod, Elokim Tzvakot, and Havayat Tzvakot. Ubezrat Hashem, says Rabbi Yosef, Adai Nitan Lacha Derech Shetavin, Kam Malot Tovot. I'm going to let you know what, how many levels you're going to reach. How many awesome things are kashur with your breed? And you're also going to understand what's the din of a person who reveals arayot. 
What do you mean with him? Who is with a person that he's not allowed to be with? Uh-huh. It's called to be Megale Ariel. Or Hamakshe Atzmoladat, which is unfortunately something that's quite common. Makshe Atzmoladat is a person who. How to say it is the cleanest way possible. Makshe. Uh, he thinks about it uh-huh. and he feels it, but he doesn't do it. Makshe, the word Kashe. Kashe, you know what the word means? Hard. No. Makshe. No, not Makshe like this. Makshe at small adat is your Makshe at small adat. As if you're really doing it. Yeah, you think about it, it's, you feel it, but you don't, it doesn't come out. It's called Makshe at small adat. It's a Gurani da. It's not a Kabbalistic thing. It's a Gurani da. So basically, you never get to laugh, man. Exactly. Don't exactly. I don't want to say it like that. But yeah, Thought if the melody came out, nothing. I guess that's the no, main. No, but no, no. Hamakshet, makshet small adat. Hashem should forgive all the Yisrael. Is already a maaseh. If you bring it upon yourself, of course. We're talking about a guy who's who's thinking about it. Gotcha. Who is that? Oh, ha'oches ba'ama umashtin, or a person who touches down there. Um, umashtin, who he uses the the bathroom. He's basically telling us, I don't want to make you, see, my point over here is to give you guys chizuk, not, not to say, but there's a lot of different stuff over here a person should be careful from. Okay? No, see, that, that's exactly what I didn't want to say. That's exactly what I didn't want to say. So, my, what he's trying, first of all, you should know one thing. If you're going to say Karach Shemalamita every single day of your life, you're good. You hear what I'm saying to you? That's it. Just, just remember that. Just be cautious. Let's just say that. Be cautious, yeah. Be tra- don't try to be big dusha. Don't bring it upon yourself. Sometimes it's hard, and the Yitzhara takes control of you. Be cautious, yeah. That's it. Lifamim nikret batorah bilshon ot. Sometimes this mida in the Torah is called an ot. A bris. Brit is one word. Sometimes just ot. It's a contract, no? What's no, there's Ot Brit Kodesh, and there's Ot. Right? Ot hi beni u benechem. So what's Ot mean? A sign. Ah, fine, fine. Because on this midah, look how he's darshaning it. Tulim ha'otot va'amoftim. Ot is also a miracle. Whoever is showing me a Brit, the Yisod, he could do miracles. You can see with miracles. You see the connection? Good. He can make miracles. He can make miracles. He's a tzinor. He's a he's the channel, right? So a person who's with his wife only and doesn't do any shtiyot. See, that being with your or... being with your spouse is a very broad normal, subject. Normal way. There's many things doesn't that can happen. Over doesn't there. do stuff that's illicit. Let's just say that. He doesn't stuff do yoga. That he's uh, supposed to be doing. He doesn't do yoga. He says. <laughs> he doesn't do a eranam. Let's just say that. Much. No, but let's say a person has to do it. No, no, but is that, I'm asking, is that what you consider Shomer Abrit? What, what, what you entail by that? That's what I want to know. Well, three paises. Most of it is paises. Oh, sure. question, is no, you're asking a good question. After. You're asking good. After. Normal thing, just normal. That's I'm not going to tell you Shabbat by Shabbat, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, 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 he's, he's talking about a guy who's, who's, no, but a person could do miracles, a guy who's mamash in that the level, like he's big, mamash, big, like a really, like he's big, even in the bedroom. You know what I mean? The re, the re, Baal Tosafot, gives a lot of heterim. The Rambam is a known one. The re, your beats, hak, balot, or safot. He says, listen, it's your wife, if you know. That's the one with the back door situation. I didn't want to say I, that. I, Why are you mentioning I, things? I didn't want to say. Children, watch this video. <laughs> yeah, when I upload, they asked me, is that okay with you? I said, yes. <laughs> Please put on this video, <laughs> age 17 and all. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's, that's the famous re. Yeah. But you know the Beit Yosef says on him. He says, if you would have seen the Azar, you wouldn't have said what he said. Yeah. Now the Re is a... You know who's the Re about us for? He He was a giant upon giant. He was like... <laughs> he was the... He's, he's the Balatosafot. So 
So I'm not talking. About, so even that is considered like when he says Shomer Belhudo B'Muftim, he's talking about a guy who's mamash, like he keeps the Shulchan Aruch B'Shen B'Ayin. You know what I mean? Not something. Uh, no, obviously a person has tabled here and there. It's your wife. There are things that are allowed, so he does it. So that's what I'm saying. Is those permitted things? Did I consider it Shomer? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it is. Of course, he's Shomer. He's still he's with your wife. You're Shomer. You're Brit. As long as it doesn't go to Levatala Hashem. And of course, you should be makpi to go to the mikveh the next Tevilat Ezra. But the guy he's talking about is a guy who's mamash. Yeah, everything is like the Bet Yosef. Okay? That's a guy who could do otot umoftim. It's, it's a level to strive to. Uh, not everybody reaches that level. I would just like to find this guy just to get a blessing from him, you know? Yeah, yeah, you're right. In that case, yeah, there isn't a lot like that. <laughs> there isn't a lot like that. Maybe you could count them in two heads. So these kind of guys, as mitchachim otot, muftim ba'olam, these are the guys who do miracles in the world. Um... So too, in, in Yitziat Mitzrayim, when the Geula came closer to the Tfila, there was many Nisim and Niflaot. As it says, Vayar Elokim et Bnei Yisrael, Vayeda Elokim, and God knew. Ubesod ve'eskor et Beriti. That's a Pasuk from Yisuk's Parasha. So we're good. Torah Lishma. So it means, what does it mean, Vayeda Elokim, and God knew? Vayeda is a nice way of saying a zivug. There was a zivug between us and Hashem. So the Yesod went back to life. That's it. Everything was good. It's Yat Mitzrayim. That's the secret I was saying this week in the, in the Shi'ur. When there was Tzniut and nobody was assimilating and everything was good. It's Yat Mitzrayim. But when there is no Vayeda Elokim, even Elokim, even the Shem Elokim, Vayeda Elokim. Look how, look how deep the Yediyah went down to. Look how deep the Zivug was. Now, even in Elokim, then there was the Zivug. And the Escort Beriti. What is Hashem saying? I will remember my Brit. Now, he wants to tell you something very special. I want to tell you, he says, Ki Shabbat hi kelchai nikraot. Shabbos itself is a etzatzon, is a is a time where you could be metakin your bread. Shabbat is kel, is the ot. It's ot beni u benechem. What do you mean by what do you mean by, um, you mean by that? like how, how or just automatically just keeping Shabbat? Probably just, Shabbat is, just keeping it in itself doesn't. Do keeping much. Shabbat is one thing you could add. Not talking on Shabbat. We, we yeah. learned before three suudot. Three, the three suudot we learned about. Yeah, right. Correct, correct. We learned about three suudot. We learned about um, uh, t- reading Tehillim on Shabbat. Like we, I don't know if the rabbi is going to do it this year, but doing Hakafot on Shabbat. The Shabbat itself is a day of Kelchai. That's why the Tzadikim have Zivug Mi Shabbat. Shabbat. Ubrit Mila Gam can nikra od. Shabbat is a od. Brit Mila is an od. Maybe this is the source. As it says, Ven Malte Un Maltem Zar or Latchem, Vetel Ot Brit Binio Benechem. The Hasod who Ramzu be Brit Mila, Baruchata Hashem, Asher Kadish Yedid me Betten. The Hog Bish Ero Sam, it's its Afatam be Ot Brit Kodesh. In the blessing of the bris, it says be Ot Brit Kodesh. And look what it says, the blessing. So you see, in the blessing of the Brit, it says, what over there? That's why everybody wants to take a Brit. So in Shabbat time, he should try to go to a Brit. It's an Etel Atzon. And the Keshet. The rainbow, Nikraot. It's also an ot. And yeah, but we can't look at that one. Yeah, you can't look at them. You can't look at the Brit. And I taught you already, says Rav Yosef. That's why you should know. Everything that you see in the Torah, 
and a person's memory comes from his yisod. The mean? more kosher, tiz keru exactly. The more kosher your yisod is, the more your memory will be in the Torah. Test yourself. How many of the six hundred and thirteen mitzvot you could remember? That we fulfilled Three. ourselves. No. In general. In general, try to memorize them. Have notes. Three. In my class, we're up to eighty. Three years. A lot of them. Puru, <laughs> Shabbat. The first, the middle, last, and the middle. A lot of them take the coin and go. Yeah, not just one little coin. Yeah, of course, there's many. Yeah. In, yeah, oh, and the attic nerve. 39. The, the third Saturday was the third mitzvah in the Torah. Right? Okay, let's do the first 10. The fourth one How about you guys? First 10. Number one. Pruru. Brit Mila. Gidan Ishae. Kiddush HaKodesh. What's number five? Shechita Tapesach. Achilat Tapesach. Lote Vashiluna. Don't cook it. Number uh, eight is what? Don't leave it till the morning. Lote Tir Menu Ad Boker. Tashbit uh, Seor, don't have any Seor, don't have any Hametz. And number 10, eat Matzah on the first night. Those are the first 10 mitzvot. Yep. So out of the 613, let's do the first 10. Like this, you, you test your Zikaron. Do you have the 10 commandments? Huh? 10 commandments are also. In, in the 10 commandments, there's more commandments, so you know that, right? So in Anochi and Lo Yelecha, there is Lot Asepese. Loto of them, Loto Shtachavelahem. There's a couple of them in there. <laughs> the 80th, what's the 80th mitzvah in the Torah? I'm going to go to the Rambam's uh, county to help a person that has a load on his back. Person or donkey? The Torah says a donkey, right? It doesn't matter. Even if you see a guy holding something heavy and you can help him, you fulfill the mitzvah. That's the 80th mitzvah. What's the 65th mitzvah? Kill the witches. The 65 is Amonai. Can I get the Shekhinah? How do you fulfill such a thing? We can't do that nowadays. Sure, you can. How? Go to the old, all the old ladies with their ispandu. Can't kill the movie. Shaul Hamelach did it for us. Don't worry about it. So the eighty witches don't die. The eighty again. Yeah. Let's finish the sentence. So so the zikar. I'm just trying to tell you that the Brit. How do you? How could you test how good your Brit is? From your zikar. The zakhar zikaron. Zachar, men, zocher, beid you. And Shabbat, zachor, So you say the less you use The less you use, not the less you use it, the less you use it incorrectly, the better your zikaron is going to be. Why? Because the, the, the zikim, they affect your memory? Is of course. Why? Not just they affect your memory, they, they destroy your zachar, your zachrut. And by destroy your zachrut, your zikaron becomes worse. I'm talking about Torah, I'm not talking about mathematics. Oh, got you. I'm just making sure. Shmaskir Amonai Olam. Both breach Shabbat, breach Milah, him yuchedet. And the Shabbos and Brit Milah is the special oath between all of us in the Aretz. And also, no, sometimes Amonai is inside the oath too. Sheyom HaShabbat Nikra Ot, Raya Shabbat Kula Bezachor Veshamor. In Shabbat, it's not only Zachor, it's also Shamor. Zachor Veshamor, Bedibur Echad Neymaru. That means also sometimes the Malchus is included in the Zachor. That's good. It's a, it's a double. That's double power. Can, can I ask a question? No. Why would you say whenever we do a bris, for example, we yeah. always bring up Amunai, Amunai? Okay, the no, that's say? something else, but it's the Etratzon. It's the Etratzon. We're asking Hashem for mercy for Kal Yisrael. Um, it's, it's something else. Rehu Kulab met Priya Priya, we saw Perush turn the page. Milat Od, Adar Chapshat, who? What's the Chapshat? He saw Yud Ktana, Yidua La Balei Chokhma, Shua Katsea Tachton Shel Avav, Nikra Od Ktana, Venikret Od Brit Kodesh, Vatada, Ben Kod Vayim Haru, Sam Luch Libecha, Vaal Yalizu Meenek. He says, when you write a letter Vav, I'm going to end over here, Daf Ayn, Shivim. 
Nefesh. When you write the letter Vav, right? Yud and then. All right, exactly. So there's two parts to the Vav. So you see the Vav here is the Yud, right? The Vav. Right. So there's a small Yud over here on the top of the Vav, right? That small Yud, that's your Brit Milah. So your Brit is like a Vav. And then the, where you make the Pmila and the Priya, it's that's the, the top. Right, it's, exactly. It's a Yud on top of the Vav. What about Nun Safid? No, Nun Safid is not connected to the Brit. So, if it's a Yud and a Vav? Yeah, it's ka, yeah you're right. But Nun Safid, remember, in the Torah, it's written like this. Huh? Like a big Zayn, right? Mm. Like a long Odzan, Odzan, right? Yeah. Uh, we're going to get to Odzan. Odzan also is connected to Odbrit Kodesh. Okay? But the letter...